Hot, 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 hot. Well, you know what they say, when you assume something, you make an ass out of you and me. And then that ass gets fucked. I moved! I'm in a new place, just trying out a new thing. I'm no longer a wee ho boy, I'm back to being a valley girl. They're never gonna find me. And I think this is a good thing, you know? For my sanity! And you know what else is just really good for your sanity? Taking into consideration the things that people think about you that may or may not be true. So I thought I'd finally jump in on this fun little game I've seen people play on YouTube over the past few months. That's me guys, late to the game. <laughs> I decided I would answer some of y'all's assumptions about me because I read them in the comments anyway and y'all are like scary accurate a lot of the time. It's like that one insecurity I don't think you're gonna notice while I'm editing. You notice it. You always, you never fail to notice it. So I went on Twitter and Instagram and I asked you guys, what do you assume about me? I already know y'all gonna piss me off because y'all fucking disrespectful and I've had it. We're gonna start off on Instagram and the first one says you're straight. <laughs> Lol. Are you just being shady? Hey, what? <laughs> I am definitely not just one side of the spectrum. No, I'm definitely all over the fucking rainbow. <laughs> that your income comes from an OnlyFans account that you don't promote. You being disrespectful! <laughs> I'll tell you, one day I'm gonna have an OnlyFans account and it's just gonna be pictures of me posing with eggplants and I'm just gonna fucking go with it. That'll promote the shit out of. Should I do that? I'm gonna do that. Watch me do that. I feel like you're a good guy who just wants to live your life and fuck whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, nail on the head, you did that. <laughs> You've never done full drag. I actually haven't. Would that be something you guys want to see me do? Let me know in the comments below, because I already have a name. Avery Big Puss could be a thing. You don't get enough daily hugs. Don't fucking touch me. That you're the broke friend, but still like to go out with your rich friends so that the drinks are on them? Absolutely the fuck not. I don't pay for drinks. <laughs> you're more gay than you're bisexual. Love you, Mike. <laughs> Respect you too, but that's not exactly how that works. <laughs> you have a really hard time finding someone to love. I have a really hard time with emotional connection, period. You play the douchebag on camera, but in real life you're sweet and nice. I thought I was sweet and nice on camera. Huge cock. Er, spaniel fan. Ah, dogs. You're shy in person. No, actually I'm extremely loud and outgoing which is bad news for all my neighbors because they don't know yet how much they're gonna hate me. You're a bottom despite saying the opposite. Listen, I, I yeah, first of all, you nasty. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop. I don't like shit in my ass, and I don't know why people can't just accept it. The only pains in my ass that I deal with are every single one of you. You're funny as shit and love to eat ass. My Twitter bio. You tend not to fall in love with people, but when you do, you fall hard. I am a psychopath. <laughs> it's not that I'm afraid to fall in love with somebody, it's just that I'm afraid of who I become when I fall in love with somebody, you know? Because I'll either love you like you've never been loved before, or I'll fucking kill you. What? You cope with your mental health issues in a proactive and healthy manner. Yeah, vodka is a proactive and healthy manner. <laughs> You're a messy bottom with men, but super dominant with women. I like to be dominant, period. Period. Everybody on here thinks sex with me would be super hysterical because of that. And it is. <laughs> You're shy when it comes to compliments. It's not that I'm shy when it comes to compliments. Everybody loves compliments. I just don't like to be taken seriously. I think everybody takes themselves too seriously. So when you give me a nice compliment, it hurts and it makes me cringe. So I have to defuse the situation and run away. You didn't go to college. I have a master's from the University of South Carolina. The game cocks. That you're great in bed. Oh, I sleep phenomenally. You're 100% Italian. I'm also 25% Irish, which just means I'm loud with a drinking problem. <laughs> Mac is your best friend in the YouTube space. I mean, yeah, probably, which is weird because when we first met, I did not think that was gonna happen. You're more of a couch potato than a tater thought. I love spuds. I assume you're not down with introverts. It's not that I'm not down with introverts. Some of my best friends are introverts. Mac's an introvert. It's just that 
when I feed off of other people's personality, and when y'all don't give me anything to feed off of, I'm like a vegan vampire over here. I'm dying. That you were just another hot OnlyFans gay that I'd have to pay to see naked. Oh, sweetie, you couldn't afford me. That's the thing. I don't really understand OnlyFans. That would fuck up my psyche. Like, I see these dudes posting pictures of their dick, and also, like, promoting that it's on sale right now. Like, that would fuck with me so hard. On sale? You're putting yourself on sale for Black Friday? You miss working for Lindsay. No, not at all. I miss the excitement I had in the beginning when I thought it was a great opportunity until I saw it and was just very disappointed. <laughs> You're a twink trapped in a hunk's body. Who started this? Who started this? You're stressed out about everything but too drunk to realize it. Who started this? You're an ESFP. Hey Siri. What is an ESFP? Norrköping Airport is an airport situated around three kilometers from the city center of Norrköping, Sweden. Would you like to hear more? No! Oh, it's a personality type. Vivacious entertainers who charm and engage those around them. They are spontaneous, energetic, and fun-loving, and take pleasure in the things around them. Food, clothes, nature, animals, and especially people. I fucking hate everybody. <laughs> I assume you will send nudes. Don't ever assume this. People be sending me nudes sometimes and then expect me to just be like willing to send them back and when I don't, they get all pissed because they're like, well, I sent you mine. Bitch, I didn't ask for them. And they ain't even that nice. You wouldn't fuck a fat guy because you're very superficial. First of all, I don't like the word fat. Second of all, I used to be very heavy. And third of all, thick is in. If you don't mix it up every now and then, what the fuck is wrong with you, you know? You were really nice and kind and life did you wrong, but we all love you. Mom? <laughs> You've had more guy one night stands than girl one night stands. This is very true, but it's not because of preference. It's because guys are easier. <laughs> Girls want to be chased and finessed and dated and guys won't even ask me what my name is until I'm inside of them. The self-deprecation started off as a cute little thing you did in your videos or in your day-to-day -day life, but now you genuinely believe those things about yourself. Also, you think yellow is an ugly color. What the fuck? <laughs> that there's a darkness in your soul consuming you slowly, growing every day, transforming you from the inside out till it becomes you and you become the true Nick. Did y'all see that shit about Nick? A lot of people were confused about Nick. So the show I did came out in the UK and they put everybody's faces up with their name under it and they got everybody right except for me. They put Nick. I'm like, who the fuck is Nick? I think you play all the roles in your life, but you're only really you when you're bartending. When I'm bartending, it's like I'm on stage. I am the most confident, I feel the most sexy, I feel the most powerful, and I don't know why that is. I, I guess I just like the control. <laughs> My boyfriend who's never watched a single one of your videos says, He's gay. I can just tell he's gay. Yeah, you can probably tell that because he's had my dick in his mouth. That you're a real asshole. And on that, everybody, thank you for watching this video. <laughs> I know this video is more chill and relaxed, but I'm still moving into this apartment, so thank you for letting me do that. Regardless, if you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like and subscribe for future videos. I put them out every Tuesday and Thursday, but sometimes I'm late, just like your fucking mom. And if that's all, I'm like MGTV, and you're fucking welcome. This fucking cup ran out of coffee like 20 minutes ago. I've just been using it as a fucking prop. Follow my kids, stay there. Yeah. Head so good, it's like daycare. Uh. Damn right, heights, gray there. I got a weed pipe, got a head full of gray hair. Never cheat when the game don't play fair. Bear with me, take those pants up and lay there. She rides my dick like the state fair. I was too fucked up to take off my wayfarers.